Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. And in this video, I'm going to quickly cover one topic because it's very important, and that is the JP Morgan coin. And we all know that there's a lot of buzz going around, but let's really understand the facts about this. This is a stable coin. It is pegged to the US dollar. I don't care what anybody is saying out there. It is not a competition to XRP. This development actually is a blessing, a boon, a bonus, a stroke of luck for the entire crypto asset ecosphere. This particular coin is going to settle among the banks that are closed. It's kind of an in-kind trading bank uh, with the JP Morgan wholesale payments business. And it'll be, it'll be a great coin for them, no doubt. But the outside banks around the world are never, ever going to put aside their geopolitical differences and adopt this JP Morgan coin, especially since it is tied to the dollar. So those people who don't really understand that XRP is an independent asset that moves across borders like water. Let me just give it to you in another way. If you bought a Disney annual pass, do you think that you could get into the FIFA World Cup in 2022 in Qatar with that pass? No, not even the 1,579 premier annual pass will get you in. And this is a perfect example of how a JP Morgan coin is just going to further fragment the currency, the fiat currency. So once an asset is backed by cash, it is no longer an asset. It's a liability. You can't move across borders with this coin. XRP being an independent digital asset can be the bridge among all the banks around the world. So for those of you who are saying that XRP is going to be disrupted in a negative sense, I don't think you really understand this space. Okay, everybody, I am going to do another video because there is really big news and excellent development for Ripple and XRP with SBI. I want to talk about that. Also, the Japanese media received an exclusive interview from Justin Sun. It's very good. I want to cover some of those points. And in addition, there's an update that's important to look at with MoneyGram and actually the uh, digital payment space. So I'm going to follow up with that video shortly after. But hey, let's take a look at just a little bit of fluff. When there is a big news story in Japan, the newspapers create a one sheet, uh, kind of a special edition, and it's passed out at the major stations. And I think today, definitely, this kind of news uh, for the development of an adoption and the validity that this JP Morgan coin is going to bring the space deserved a one sheet out at these stations. Um, sometimes, let's see, in the past there have been one sheets when Ichiro met the um, record for the amount of hits he had in one year. Uh, there is a big Nobel uh, Prize winner that is Japanese, then a one sheet is uh, passed out. And also, I think the last time there was a one sheet in Tokyo was when the emperor announced his abdication, which actually occurs this April 30th. And that is um, what I want to talk about, because when the emperor changes, the era name changes. Here are just some other uh, shots <clears throat> of those one sheets. I thought it was a cute photo. All right, so the last time the era name was changed was back in 1989, and the era that we're in right now is called the Heisei era. And it's interesting. It's the only era that I have uh, been accustomed to because I arrived in the Heisei era, and, it, and, and, and this name change is a big deal because it, 
It reflects uh, the current times and it's chosen carefully to really represent an ideal uh, name for the people. Now, in this case, in 1989, hey means peace and say means to become or turn into or to reach. So it's been a great name. I love it. And I'm very, very curious what the new era name will be. It is going to be announced about 30 days prior to the actual um, change date, which I believe is officially April 30th. And the names are actually given to the government by some experts. So they'll have uh, a few names to choose from. And yeah, it has to have two kanji characters. It has to be easy to write. And the kanji characters uh, can never have been used before in past names. So uh, I am very much looking forward to what this new era will be. I hope they choose a good one. I will let you know when that announcement is made. But in the meantime, uh, I'm going to work on that video for you in addition to this one. But I wanted to give this one some special focus. All right, everybody. Take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.